A young father begs for his life. You do that again, we're shooting you. Do you understand? Please do not shoot me. Then listen to my instructions. I'm trying to do what you Don't talk! He's in a hotel hallway, hands and police warn him one false move and he's a dead man. Hands straight up in the air. Do not put your hands down for any reason. Your hands go back in the small of your back or down. We are going to shoot you. Do you understand me? Yes, sir. Sobbing, the hotel guest crawls to the six Crawl police officers. Me. Crawl towards me! Crawl towards me! Yes, sir. <laughs> then he makes a terrible mistake. He reaches for his waist. The cop who opened fire says he thought the guy was reaching for a weapon, but 26-year-old Daniel Shaver was unarmed. He was just pulling up his basketball shorts. The death happened last year at a La Quinta hotel near Phoenix, Arizona, but the video has just been released. Daniel Shaver, who worked as an exterminator, was in town on a business trip. He was drinking in his room when the hotel desk clerk called 911 to report somebody had been pointing a gun out the window of room 502. Have you seen the person that's staying in that room? Yeah, his name, Daniel Shaver. When police got there, they ordered Shaver out. Stop! Right there! Stop! Stop! Get on the ground, both of you! With him was a young woman he had met at the hotel. In the video, Shaver appears confused and disoriented. I said, keep your legs crossed! <sighs> I'm sorry. Police told Shaver to keep his hands in the air, cross his legs one over the other, and crawl towards them. That's not easy to do, even if you're sober. Retired police officer Steve Cardian studied the video for Inside Edition. Why not just say, freeze, don't move, you're under arrest, and go up and arrest the guy? But, you know, the way that I do and was taught, I would have him put his hands up. Now we see the high-risk area. Hands up, turn around, walk backwards towards me, drop down to your knees, cross your legs, and then... I would make my approach, hands behind the back, and I would bring his hands behind his back and cuff him. The officer who shot Shaver was charged with second-degree manslaughter. Not guilty. On Thursday, he was acquitted. Shaver's heartbroken wife, Lainey, is calling his death an execution, pure and simple. She posted videos on Facebook of her husband playing with their two children. What happened was wrong. And I hope one day justice will come and the Mesa de police department will give me answers for why they killed him. Crawl towards me! Crawl towards me! Yes, sir! The killing took place in January of 2016, but the footage was only now released by authorities.